before everything happened in the asylum many years ago, myself and my sister Narcissa, we had a very good relationship. We always used to do everything together growing up. And yes, yeah, sure, I was a bossy bitch and sometimes neglected to tend to Narcissa's sensitive side. That is until we ended up having to go to that asylum and stay there for reasons I won't go into right now because they're far too personal to tell. And we ended up meeting Aubrey Williams. When we got to that asylum, the conditions were absolutely horrendous. The nurses and doctors would treat us like shit. And all we had was each other. Aubrey would soon become very manipulative. She would throw tantrums and scream and cry when she didn't get her way. And as far as the manipulation went, that's part of the reason why myself and Narcissa have such a broken relationship. Have such a distant memory of what once was before we ended up in that asylum. Aubrey manipulated her into believing that I never cared. Aubrey manipulated her into believing that I never wanted her to come with me. Now we can't stand each other. And we're likely going to kill each other in that Hell in a Cell match at ROVX because of Aubrey Williams, who I hope is happy with the result of everything. I sure hope you are proud of yourself. She can make up the lies about me all she wants, but at the end of the day, I know what's real and what isn't. Aubrey is the reason why I am the way that I am today. She's part of the reason why I cheated on my ex-husband. She's part of the reason why my son doesn't have a name yet. And she's part of the reason why I don't know who my son's father is. I do thank God that it isn't Virgil Snow because let's be real. I wouldn't want my baby to come out looking like Santa Claus. But that aside, I do want to say something to Aubrey. And I kind of want to say something to Penny, too. See, me and Narcissa were, like, closer than most friends. We were closer than sisters. A sisterhood that was so strong it's hard to explain in words. A sisterhood that has now become so broken, so shattered, that I had to do a little bit of shattering of my own. I had to do a little bit of rearranging of a certain somebody's face, of a certain somebody's brains. <laughs> you know, Aubrey and Penny like to make things out to look like I'm jealous of their relationship. I'm jealous of how they came together, how they became friends and then lovers and then mistress and sex slave. I'm not jealous of that at all. Matter of fact, I'm not jealous of you two, period. But I can guarantee you right now, there is one person in Aubrey's inner circle who was so jealous of the way Penny and Aubrey came together that I did them a favor and bludgeoned them to a bloody pulp. Isn't that right, Miss My Mimi? Or whatever the hell your name is. <laughs> oh, Aubrey. You made the biggest mistake of your life 15 years ago when you shattered my relationship with my baby sister. You made the biggest mistake of your life by destroying the sisterhood of Alessia and Narcissa Knight and not because of you and because of Penny and because of all of those abusive doctors in that asylum Narcissa has to be laid to rest, just like your friend my Mimi here, in a way that's going to be so uncomfortable 
that not even ROX owner ENDS or FAM owner ROM Buster or even SWW owner Everett Creed are going to want to stomach long enough to watch. It's going to be so sadistic and so demented that it's going to make whatever Shannon Silvera does to Ace Whistler look like fucking a child's play. I'm sure hoping that you're proud of the fact that you were jealous. You were jealous of our sisterhood and you broke it up. And now because of you, my little sister is going to die at my hands because you were a loner. You were lonely and you needed a friend and that's why you found a slut named Penny Shaw so you can dip into her little raggedy honey pot. But you know what, it's okay. You were jealous of our sisterhood and I get that, but I'm not jealous of you and your little relationship or whatever you want to call it with Penny. Just like I'm not jealous of the friendships that you have. Like the one that you have with little Miss My Mimi down here on the floor. <laughs> but you know, it's fine. I get it. So I did to my Mimi what you failed to do to me. I bludgeoned her. I beat her within an inch of her life because you made me do it. Just like what I'm gonna do to Narcissa at ROVX. Remember, Aubrey, you made me do it. And Penny, as for you, just remember one thing. You wouldn't have anything that you have, especially your relationship with Aubrey, if it wasn't for me. And if we ever cross paths again, Penny, your penultimate downfall and your blood is not going to be on my hands. But it's going to be on the hands of your psycho angel mistress. And I am going to laugh all the way to the bank while the little piggy in the two of you, the little piggy in the two of you is going to cry wee 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 all the way home. All the way home back to Frankfurt, Germany in that mental asylum. And I'm gonna enjoy every second of it. Just like I enjoyed beating the shit out of Aubrey's little friend. <laughs> and you know what? After the cameras go off, I'm gonna kick her ass some more. I'll see you around, Psycho Angel and Harlem Hothead. <laughs> Maybe we can all meet up in Germany and have a good old laugh about this. But I doubt that we'll ever have a laugh again. Because it's your fault that my sisterhood is broken, Aubrey. And you will rue the day that you ruined it. <laughs>